Hey, how's it going? My name is John Halkowski, and this is my 1985 Toyota Pickup 4x4. Um, a little bit of a backstory. I've owned this truck since I was 15. Uh, I'm now currently 27, and it's time to actually make some huge upgrades on it. So, for the longest time, I've done very minimal work to this truck. You know, be my first rig and all. Just did the bare minimum. But now that I'm older and have some disposable income, I figured it was time to treat my trusty truck to some nice new parts. Um, so let's check them out. So here we have some new Bilstein shocks, some new leaf springs, new bump stops, new bushings, new U-bolts, and hopefully it'll get this truck to ride a whole bunch better. Um, the reason I'm actually doing this in the first place is because of the fact that I now actually destroy my oil pan. And what I mean by that is the rear spring or the springs are so worn that the uh, axle is actually hitting the oil pan before it hits the bump stops, which is not a good thing, especially on a solid axle truck. So because of this, I'm replacing the springs, replacing the shocks, and just refreshing the whole front end. Um, I will be eventually doing the rear end, and I'll make that another video. But for today, I'm just doing the front end. Um, it didn't normally used to hit the, the oil pan um, when it had the original 22R in it. But uh, in 2020, uh, me and my friend did a 3RZ FE swap out of a 98 uh, Toyota 4Runner. And now because of the, the, the new oil pan, it, it runs into problems. Like... When the, when the truck's not up on jack stands, actually, the uh, the Leafs themselves don't have any arch to them. They actually have a negative arch, which means that um, a normal vehicle will actually have a curving arch to the Leaf Springs. Mine actually go in the opposite direction. Like, if, if they were flat, that could be reasonable, but because they actually have a negative arch to them, that's really bad. Um, I did some math. And hopefully with the, the new springs, I'll get about one to two inches back into, into travel. But then um, I actually ran into a problem. Where is it? Oh, it's over here still. The, uh, the bump stops actually, um, they don't reach the frame anymore where they're supposed to. So normally it sits there. When the suspension compresses, it'll hit this pad, and it should hit this before the axle can hit the oil pan. Well, it doesn't do that anymore, because the uh, the new oil pan is in a slightly different location, so it's a little bit lower. So, these old ones have to go, and I mean, they're completely trash. You can actually see it separating from its mount. So, in the garbage they go. Got some new polyurethane bushings, some nice tall bump stops. Hopefully these will help prevent the uh, the axle from hitting the pan again. Through my math, if the truck bottoms out onto the bump stops, I should now have about three quarters of an inch of gap clearance between the axle and the pan, which I'd rather be riding on bump stops than destroying oil pans. To, uh, catch you up on what I've already done. Clearly lifted the truck up, put it on some jack stands to get to the point to where the front suspension can be completely free and doesn't have any spring load on it. Took off the U-bolt bracket on the driver's side, which are just four 19 millimeter nuts. And now I need to pull the leaf spring and then once that's out, we can replace it with a new one, put in the new bushings, put on the new U-bolt bracket, and this side should be done. I'll leave the shocks for later. I'll get to the other side, do that, and then we'll do shocks as the last thing. So let's get to this.
Well, the good news is the first leaf spring is out. As you can see, it's bushing kind of gross. Um, I still gotta pull the bushings out of the, up there. But on the downside, I did snap one bolt already. So hopefully that'll be the only one. But now that I said that, I'm probably screwed. No more leaf spring. So here's the old one compared to the new ones. And you can see like there's all the cracking on the fucking bushing. A whole bunch of cracks on this bushing too. So who knows if these are been replaced before if they're original. Well, those they're looking pretty gross. So I'm glad I'm getting rid of them. Now to reverse the process and put one back in after I find a bolt and get that old one out. All right. Well, I got the uh, broken bolt out. I don't know if you can see those, but the threads are kind of screwed up. They are kind of screwed up on both of them. Uh, hopefully I can tap it and save the hole. If not, then I'll probably just have to nut and bolt. If there's enough room. I guess we'll find out. Hooray! So, just to give an update on what I'm kind of struggling on. 
trying to get the uh, bushing to go into the eyelet so that way I can get the last mount on. And it's just being a pain in the butt. But, you know, the will there's a way. Just trying to make my way on it. Finally got the leaf to actually seat onto the pad. So that's good. Um, retrofitting those uh, larger bump stops is going to be another pain in the butt. But I'll deal with those later. For now, back to getting this bushing in. Alright. I finally managed to get this bracket on. Finally got these bushings to all line up. So now all I gotta do is tighten these down. And then I can move on to doing the bump stop. Or move on to getting the other set of leafs in. I'll figure it out once I get to that point. Um, I will come back and uh, torque these down to the actual proper spec. But for now, I was just more concerned about getting these on and just tight enough to hold itself together while I got everything else done. Uh, gotta get the washer back onto here. Basically what I did was uh, I got this top one to start threading on and then I just tightened the bolt down so that way it squeezed the top two bushings back together. Once that got done then I pulled it far enough out to where it was like on the last one or two threads, got this bracket to go over the bushing, clamped it down again so that way it stayed aligned with this bolt hole. And eventually it got me enough threads, uh, also I had to, um, I used my pry bar to like pry in between the bushing and the shackle to actually like get it to walk back into the eyelet some more so that way I can get some more threads. And then once I did all that, I was able to actually get this to thread on. Don't forget the washer. And then once that was done, I was actually able to get the bracket on. Hooray. The best part is, now we still gotta do the other side. All right. <laughs> now this is, like most projects, you know, takes longer than you think it's actually gonna take. But sometimes that's, you know, part of the fun, part of the process, or in my case, that's just what I have to deal with because, well, I don't have really anywhere proper to work. I'm just in my driveway. You know, if it was raining, I really wouldn't be able to do this because that tent uh, houses another car that can't move. So I'm just kind of stuck in the weather. Luckily, the weather is uh, pretty decent right now, so... I can at least live with it. Get some projects done. So, now that this is all tightened down, and we gotta move on to getting the U bolts and the uh, bump stop mounted, which that'll be an interesting one because I will show you. Ugh. The problem I've ran into is this bump stop, its hole is a little off-center, so it actually sits not perfectly flat on the uh, leaf spring on the little alignment pin down there. problem with these is their little alignment hole is perfectly center, so I'm probably going to have to try to drill an off-center hole or I have to just enlarge this one to get it to fit on the pin and go from there. So, you know, that's just how it be sometimes. But for now, let's just start getting stuff back together.
So, got the U-bolts tightened down, um, got the bump stop mounted, but it's actually having uh, some clearance issues with this uh, drag link. It'll actually uh, sit there and rub against it, and I'm just trying to make a little bit of clearance here. I'm just going to try to shave off a sliver to create enough clearance between it so that way it can pass by without potentially touching it or rubbing through anything. So, I'm going to sit here and uh, try to cut a little sliver out of it, and I'll catch you up once I get that done. Okay, so, made some clearance. It works a lot better than what it was. You know, nothing too special. I'll definitely still have to address this issue in the uh, in the future, but for now, it's good enough for me. Uh, now I think it's time to tackle doing the shock. That'll be nice. And then this side should be pretty much done outside of having to put these two bolts back in, except that hole is stripped, and the bolt that was in this one uh, is also not in the best of condition, so... They'll have to wait. I mean, it'll it'll still hold itself, but I probably won't drive it around until I get those put in. So let's put this shock in.
That took way too long to do. The freaking nut, man, was so trashed. It was so tight on there. I mean, the fact that, like, even like this, oh, no, that's just supposed to be, yeah, super weathered. Just an absolute pain to deal with. Now that's over with. Thank God. And now, we get to put on this beautiful, brand new Bilstein shock. Woo! Got the new rubbers. Ooh. That's nice. That's very nice. In case you want the uh, part number, there you go. Test it on the Nordschleifer. Sure. I'll believe that. <sighs> what could possibly go wrong from here? Albeit, these two little bolts. Driver's side is completely done. New leaf spring, new bushings, new bump stop, new U-bolts, new shock, new bushings in the back as well. This side is done. Um, I will source some hardware once I can get these holes cleaned up. But for now, I'm going to do the passenger side. And since it's mostly just a rinse and repeat of the driver's side, I'm just going to skip forward until this is done. So I have good news and bad news. The good news is that I got the Bilsteins mounted up, got the leaf spring mounted up on its perches, but the downside is that the new U-bolts for the passenger side are too short. And here's what I mean. So this is the U-bolt that came off of the truck. This is one of the ones that I bought to replace it. And clearly, not long enough. Because for those who don't know, U-bolts go around the axle. Come down. Then you have a plate that's under the axle. Goes through the bolt holes, bolts down, clamps the axle to the leaf. So it doesn't go nowhere, and you're great. But the problem is, with the new one being so short, it wouldn't be able to actually go through the bracket. So I can't use them. So I have to go get some more U-bolts, probably tomorrow, or this weekend, depending, before I can actually finish this front end. Um, unfortunate, but it's just how it be sometimes. So, uh, until then, I will uh, catch you back up once I get the new U-bolts and get them mounted up. Here is a ow, front end update. I got it all put back together. Got the new U-bolts in on this side. Got the new U-bolts on this side, got them torqued down, torqued down, everything's torqued down. But the problem is it's still sitting a little bit too low. Yeah. So I can find a good spot for you to be able to see. Brand new springs, barely any clearance to the bump stop pad, the bump stop, but at least now, I have a little bit of clearance between the oil pan and the axle. Downside being that, like here on the passenger side, it looks like it's just sitting on the pad. So I have no up travel. And I really don't know what I'm going to do about that right now. Because I just bought these brand new leaf springs and I have no up travel. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I mean, for now, at least it gets the truck moving under its own power again. 
and just have to change out the oil pan. But what I'm gonna do from here, I don't know. I don't, I, I've never heard of anybody having these kinds of problems with uh, the, the live axle and this oil pan having problems, but I'm sure most people just lift their trucks to the point to where it's not a problem. Well, I don't really wanna lift my truck. That's the other problem that I'm having. Um, I do have a few options, I guess. I could get new leaf springs, make it lifted. Not a fan of that. Um, you can put a spacer in between the bottom of the leaf and the pad, and that would actually give it a little bit of lift between um, the axle and pan while still retaining the same spring rate load. But, I don't know. So, I guess for now, call this project done and just try to figure out more options from here. So, until next time.